Yo, what's up people? Welcome back to another crate. And welcome back to a new review. Almost half the week done. Why am I sitting in that same old shirt? Because I recorded that over the weekend. <laughs> Usually a sorcerer never gets hold of his tricks, but um, it's YouTube. So, Leon, the professional in German, der Profi. In its Art House 25, like Art House 25th anniversary, uh, 4K Ultra HD Plus Blu-ray Steelbook. And it's a movie I wanted to have in such a long time, um, but the old Blu-ray was just, it was just a black Steelbook. And I wanted to have, I don't know, I wanted to have something a little bit more impactful, a little bit more nice. So, um, no 360 on this, of course. Let's just dive in. And here we are, straight out the shiver. It comes with this little uh, sleeve on top. Leon, der Profi in German. Director's cut, the German rating system. Art House 25 button. Already visible, the beautiful artwork on the front. On the back, not so much now. With the extras spot, of course, of uh, Leon and Matilda, right. So, uh, let's crack this sucker open. So, here we are. This slips out. We don't need that. So, here we got it. Beautiful, simply beautiful. Love the styling. Wanted to have a nice impactful cover for so long. So I, I love this. Um, it's kind of like, I don't know, little, little, little Dali-esque. Let's call it like this, or Dali. Oh, yeah, actually uh, pronounced. So is that a paint chip? No, this is actual, actually a style thing. Um, but the print is excellent. Like we have uh, little things that shine a little bit more than usual. I like that. Spine, simple, blue, Leon, studio kennel. And on the back, and what I see, it's a dent in the steel book. Ah, Amazon should get their protective shipping shit together, if you ask me, but all right. It's still beautiful. Maybe I can, maybe I can press it out. It's not as big, but it's just, it's just my OCD is triggered. It could have been perfect. And then you see this. Ah, on the inside, usual advertisement and both disc. On the one side, the director's cut, 20 minutes longer. I haven't actually seen that. And the second one, oh, it's both the director's cut. The one is, of course, the 4K, the other one is the Blu-ray. So there's that. And when you put this out, we get the black and white, white version of the, of the shot from the back of the, of the sleeve. So um, that's nice. That's really nice. I'm going to check the disc menu real quick for that full score for you. And then uh, go back to final thoughts. So there you go, guys. Leon Blu-ray Steelbook in detail for you. Beautiful thing, beautiful Steelbook. And I just had a quick look at the uh, at the disc menu and the picture. So there goes uh, packaging. It's a Steelbook. Nothing, nothing much to 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 say about that. It's it's the it's the old format. It's a nice format, prone to damage, like you saw. But um, it's a nice steelbook, uh, and with the whole overall appearance, um, I give both a, a high score. Um, could have used the logo maybe, but uh, and also also maybe also maybe a fitting color going all around. Not that this is blue and this is uh, more of the pastel tones, you know. But but that's that's about it. Usually, but and overall, it, it, it's beautiful. It really is. Um, bonus content, I enjoy when there is new stuff like uh, new retrospectives and new interviews with the old actors, but um, there's not much new they could have given us. Um, so instead of, I don't know, giving us bonus content that I rarely watch, maybe, maybe do a little bit better, nicer, beautifuler <laughs> appearance, like packaging, maybe that. Um, execution overall though is great. Um, I love the art style and the picture of the Blu-ray. I couldn't check out the 4K because I don't have a 4K. Um, but I was told that it's a it's a great it's a great transfer. It's a, it's pretty much a direct transfer with higher resolution, but not really remastered. So 
it took over the grain, which, which in my book keeps the quality of the original movie, the original, let's call it flair, you know? And it's apparent on the Blu-ray. So I enjoy that. It's better than on, on Predator, this Hunter edition. They, they did it with a, with a new transfer and everything. It was totally soft washed. I cannot stand that. Uh, the disc menu is, is nice enough. It's simple. We have Leon on the on the right, um, and we have on the left a few few bits of the movie, and it's and it's all designed well, really structured. So there's that. Um, nothing special though, like like really um, I don't know, like new CGI elements, like when I when you see the the Avengers Blu-ray menu, you know, the first Avengers where where they took all these all these faceted renders with parts of the movie and it's all with lens flare and it looks super nice nothing like that but on a movie like this it wouldn't fit so better keep it classic than overly fancy and the movie really good <laughs> so that was like all for you i hope you have a good week so far and uh you made it tomorrow already um i don't know if i made it already Maybe if I come up with something else, but uh, that's not your concern. If you like this video, please give me a subscribe, please give me a like, and please uh, click the notification bell if you want to have more videos like this, and you, if you enjoy this mug and the stuff I do. So <laughs> see you next time, guys. Take care. Bye.